Welcome to the Dream Doctor, the show where we provide a light at the end of the tunnel for kids who have been dealt a bad hand in life. I'm Jose Sueño, your Dream Doctor. Today we will call the sedentary who suffers from extremely rare disease that randomly paralyzes different parts of his body. Let's go, people. Alright, so here we are at Paul's house. Let's go in and say hi. Hey Paul, how are you? Hi doctor, how are you? Good, come right in. Hello Paul. Hello doctor. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good man, so you're a Paul, 17 year old from St. Joseph, Missouri. Uh, currently attending Benton High School. You have this weird disease named Tumir Paralyticus. It's really weird, uh, for what I understand. Only three cases recorded worldwide since 1850. Why don't you tell us more about this disease and how your life is because of this disease, you know, your daily struggles and stuff? Well, it's just kind of hard, you know, every day is a new struggle. I wake up and I just don't know which part of my body is going to go wrong and like what part's not going to work, like per se, like my feet or my, my legs will like go out while I'm walking sometimes, that's why I have to have this for like stability. And then, like sometimes when I'm doing everyday activities, like making, making uh, like sandwiches or bagels, like uh, my hands will just stop working, like just stop, and the bagels will fall and just create messes. And it's like I'm a walking mess. Like I just yeah, you can clean up because you can use your hands. Okay. So, uh, why don't you tell us more about your first episode of Samir Perlitz that you had? Like, what did it happen? When? How old were you? Well, um, from what I can remember, I was about 12. I was walking home from school. It was about late spring, um, and I was walking down the alley from school, and I take a left to go home, mm -hmm. and like as soon as I took the left, it's like my legs had no feeling anymore. They just went out, mm -hmm. and like I couldn't use them, I, and I laid there on the ground, like holding them for 30 to 45 minutes, from what I can remember, just screaming, hauling for help. And nobody came. Nobody ever came. And then finally, the feeling just came back. And I walked away. That's when I knew something was wrong. Uh -huh. Dang, that's horrible. So how did, how has your life changed because of this disease? Like before and after, you know, were some things that you used to like love doing and now you can't do it because of the disease. So like school, has anything in school changed? Mm -hmm. The hardest part for that would definitely be just uh, like bullying and harassment from my other peers because they like will walk past me in the hallways and just like give me weird looks and take pictures and videos and just say really rude things to me. Yeah, people, people don't so much. So uh, you said uh, they bully you at school or they're mean to you. Mm -hmm. How do you deal with that? Like, do you have anything that, I mean you used to do sports but you can't do them anymore. Do you have any other hobbies that you like to do something that clears your mind? you know, help you just space out of the world. So I like to listen to music. That's probably honestly my favorite thing to do. And I really just like observing nature, looking out the windows and just seeing things. Just looking at the beauty of the world, yeah. I guess. Yeah. Um, uh, you said music is a big part in your life? Yes. Uh, so who's your favorite? Like, you have a favorite group, artist, or a music type that you prefer? I'd probably have to say One Direction is my favorite band. One Direction? Mm hmm. Yeah, any like favorite members of One Direction? Definitely Harry. Harry? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that man's got, he's got a pretty good voice, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah, and that lush is Harry. Oh, it's, it's so, it's so perfect. Yeah. Okay, so we'll be right back. After the break, we'll be talking with Paul's brother, Tyler, here on the Dream Doctor. Stay tuned. Oh yeah, brother, you look me in the ass here, you know exactly who you're looking at. You're looking at the reigning U.S. champion, Chad. Too bad, brother. You want to see me go against two-year-old Teddy Talk at the BHS Auditorium May 9th 
Absolutely, you do. You want to see me chop these 24 inch pythons right down on top of old two year old Teddy Tosh chest? I know I see it in your eyes. Well, let me tell you what, you want to be there, you want to feel the intensity. $5 for general admission and $6 for ringside. Oh, yeah, be there. I'll be square. Welcome back to the Germ Doctor, and I'm here with Paul's brother, Tyler. Hello, Tyler. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you, Doctor? I'm pretty good, man. So you help Paul on his like daily struggles mm -hmm. because of his disease. Why don't you go ahead and tell us about how his disease has affected your life as well? Well, you know, before his disease, I was taking care of him because our, before I went on to college, our parents passed away, mm -hmm. and there were some things that I had to do, too. Like our family dog, I had to put it down because oh, really? yeah, because I wasn't I wasn't gonna be able to take care of it. I'm supposed to take care of Ty, I mean Paul. At the same time, yeah. yeah. Um, before his disease as well, I was at college and I had a full ride. Uh, I was about to start my own business. I was gonna be a philanthropist and help a lot of kids in orphanages, have them go go to good foster care. So I was gonna pay for all that. Dang, so are you helping Paul pretty often with? Like mm -hmm. every day, yeah. how often would you say? Honestly, twenty four seven. Twenty four seven. So would you say uh, this disease has changed like your guys' relationship between you and Paul? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Would you uh, would you say it has changed it for the best or for the worst? Definitely brotherly wise for the best, but for me, I don't know. I just don't have the time to do anything for me for myself. You know. Do you ever get in time? Like, do you ever like? Does he, like, whenever he's not having episodes of his disease, do you ever do anything that you want to do? Uh, honestly, if I am, I'm doing it with him just because I always got to be aware. Just in case something does happen, you know, I'm always there for him. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what about when he's listening to music? Uh, talking about music, uh, Paul Clement, uh, said he was a really big One Direction fan. What can you tell us more about his fascination for One Direction? You know, man. That's, that's an interesting subject, because honestly, if I'm not there, One Direction is, because, I mean, the kid, he loves him, so. Loves him? Mm-hmm. Well, that's good, man. That's mm -hmm. good to know that he's not alone in this world. Mm-hmm. You know, he's got someone to support him, besides, like, his disease is a horrible condition. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's good to know that you never gave up on him, and you're mm -hmm. there for him. Yeah. That's really good. That's, I respect that a lot, man. Thank you, Jack. All right, thank you so much for your time. Mm -hmm. No problem. Okay, so that's all for today. It's time to get ready for tomorrow where we will be coming back to give Paul a little surprise. So we're here at Paul's house once again. This time we're here to give him a little gift for being in the show. Hey! I mean, hey! Oh. What are you doing, doctor? 
your time. So, first of all, we just want to thank you so much for bringing the show. And we know that what you're going through is rough, so we already took care of all your medical bills, took care of your insurance, and as a last gift from us to you, here's $100,000 for you. You're kidding. Thank you so much. Come here, man. Okay, lay it out. Okay, Paul, so here we are for the fun day at the arcade. Afterwards, we have a big surprise for you. So now let's have fun. Sure. Man, that was too easy. You already know. Man, I can't believe you got the whole world thinking you're a One Direction fan. Bro, I can't believe that shit either. You know I don't listen to this. <laughs> bro, I'll be listening to straight hip hop old. You already know what I listen to, bro. None of that. <laughs> bro, you think they're gonna figure out about that one house? Nah, there's no way, bro. That girl has no suspicion mm -hmm. that we was in there. We cleaned it up so good, bro. You already know how we do that. <laughs> that's right, that's right. What are you gonna do with the money?
we're back at the Dream Doctor. Today we're with Kyle, who suffers a weird illness in his throat. So how are you today, Kyle? I'm good, doctor. All right, man, so why don't you tell us about your disease, how it has affected your life, and what are your struggles with it? Well, I struggle with it because it makes it hard to sleep at night, you know, with this big thing. I don't even know, like, how to get up or how to just function in my everyday life. I get made fun of for it. Um, hey, hey, is that, is that? Oh, 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 shoot. Oh, come on. Come on, come on. All right, we're gonna try this again. You don't like talking, do you? Oh shit! Paul's dead. <laughs> no, no.